Okay, guys, so this is part two. If you didn't watch uh, part one, make sure to watch it. That's the part where I draw it. And this part, I'm gonna like make them, put them in like a script and see how it looks. And sorry for the audio quality in the first one. I really recorded it on uh, my tablet, and the quality is bad, but I hope you can still see it. So let's go. So if you follow my rules, you get all this layers. So I export it as PSD. We're gonna hide the first layer and also duplicate it so it looks way better and merge it down so we're gonna export it as png so otherwise it will not show and we're gonna export it export so we're gonna go here on second life and make sure you raise a prim and then we're gonna put our lta script in there and you get the lta script in your mesh like mesh head folder and uh, once you like unpack it here it is and here they are so lta is the test and then we have these two scripts that are the main scripts for the product itself and these are these two so for now you need lta and just drop it in so to test it you click on texture local add so i have just some random lashes i made that don't even look good add and click on it click ok Close it, click on the lashes, click on eyelashes and diffuse. So these are the hand drawn ones, like freestyle. So let's see how it looks. And it's really, really pretty. I like how it looks. I also like the bottom lashes. And uh, yeah, so there is so many we made. You can also play with opacity. I always duplicate it so it looks way better. Okay, so let me see. This is the bottom one, and this is the upper one. So, what I'm gonna do is a little bit of fixing, so make sure there's no gaps. And this look also not bad, like it's really, really cute how it looks. And uh, yeah, so so now I'm gonna do a little bit of fixing, adjust it, make sure you don't have no empty spots, otherwise, it will look like weird. Rather have it on top than having this spot. So, go filter, uh, distort, and uh, then we go on eye warp, so we're gonna warp it a little bit, so it looks way better. Just pull it upwards, then click OK and see how it looks. It's a little bit uh, too much, so I'm gonna undo it. Again, this sort eye warp a little bit less, so it takes a little bit tweaking and tweaking around to have it perfect. Again, it could be a more. So once more, you're gonna try to fix it a little bit until we like it so tweak it here and there and it already looks better and i like how it looks so let's test it out and it looks already better and i love the lashes especially the upper one and i might resize it a little bit because i feel like they're big but i don't crop the bottom one so it's easier to crop and i'm just gonna make it even smaller the bottom up and then we're gonna like fix it a little bit and then we're gonna export it once we like it how it looks hide it export and there's a slight change and uh, yeah you just have to play around with it until you like it how it looks and uh, duplicate it I always duplicate it it looks way better and like way fuller as you can see here they're really simple but I love them okay and as you can see it's a little bit on top but it's okay it looks so good but we can make it smaller on top again this sort I warp and just like pull a little bit down to have it more better and not like going over the edges and let's see okay so the previous lashes I made were that I made like a few days ago so now I uploaded the lashes that I just made for the video so I'm gonna here Open the first ones that were first drawn, as you could see in the video, and let's export it to see how it looks. And oh my god, I love them! Look how good they look! It was even hand drawn, and I love them how spiky and how pretty they are. I love the bottom lashes, I love everything about it. Of course, I'm gonna duplicate it to have like a better effect. So, we're gonna see how that one looks. And I freaking loved it. So if you're happy with your lashes, you can start uploading it. Plus sign. 
image upload because to make lashes you need to upload them you cannot like make them for local upload so i hope we have a good one so we're gonna delete those keep the bottom ones like i have many like bottom ones i'll i guess i'll test those but um i think i like the first ones more okay so these are the second ones <gasps> Oh, I love them. Look how fluffy they look. And this one was just like hand drawn. It was not like from a template or from this like other ones where I drew over. So this is hand one and I freaking love it. But I'm gonna use, I guess, the first one. So I have them all the same. That's what I personally do. So <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, I love those lashes. They are like full on the bottom. I'm gonna upload this one so we already have two then upload as number two so it's easier to remember <gasps> look how good they look like I said when you have practice you don't need like reference you just do it with a hand and then you have those they look a bit wonky they need to be fixed so I'm gonna pull it on the side and I think they I don't know if I'm gonna use those it, this one needs a lot like a lot of work I'm gonna delete everything that goes past the map and let's test it raw how it looks. So let's see. Mm, they look like, like the falsies you get done. It doesn't look bad, but it needs a bit tweezing and fixing. This door and I warp, so I don't know if I'm trying to make the bottom one like longer. I hope I don't go overboard, uh, otherwise it's gonna look weird. I wanna make them work because they literally look like false ones that you get like installed into your eyelashes so <laughs> let's see how they look hmm Ooh, not bad oh my god they look like literally really cute and fluffy um i think i would tweeze it a little bit more like let me undo it and uh, filter distort eye wipe I wanna go again here to make it even longer and maybe also the front part I wanna make them really like voluptuous and fluffy so let's see um nothing the previous one was better but not bad after all so um I like them they look kinda cute and uh, I guess I'm gonna upload them so but i want to tweak them a little bit more like i'm a perfectionist <laughs> so make this front one smaller and put it out because there's a big gap if you like leave that big gap like your customer gonna have a big gap so <laughs> make sure it fits well so let's see Ooh, already better i like it and again I need to tweak it <laughs> it's just like I want it to be perfect like I'm wanting to have it like like I would wear it so I'm hella picky so make the like back lashes longer so let's see and oh look how it looks it's a little bit like it's going overboard so it's kind of cutting it off like you can go over the edge but like not too much so I'm gonna undo it and uh, Let's see, it looks really nice. Make sure you always zoom out. And I love how it looks. It looks so freaking cute. So duplicate as always and put a past a little bit down so we have thicker ones. Okay, if you're happy with it, we can upload it. So let's close this plus upload image. And I'm gonna add it as number four. Like I didn't think that any of those would look good, but like they really do. So these are the next lashes. I think this one we use a reference picture to do it. So far I like my freestyle hand drawn one. So these are the hand drawn but over a picture. So make sure it's like touching the bottom line. Otherwise it will be lifted. Again this sort and I warp. And we're gonna tweak it. Like you can do this on like procreate maybe it's easier for you but i always do it in gimp because i need to see how it looks and i hate when it's getting bended like this so i'm gonna undo it and uh, i'm gonna scale it make it smaller stretch it and i'm gonna stretch it to be bigger so and <laughs> to make it look 
better or make it work and if you can see like it's kind of short and it depends of the size so I'll make a new layer drop it down so I have way more space and then I'm gonna cut it however I prefer it this one I warp and now you can see how much space you have depending on the layer and of the cut so now that we have enough space it looks better and it's not bended so uh, but I'm gonna undo I'm not happy with it but let me see this one I warp and again stretch it slightly like more like straight and slightly up and let's see it does look bad but I think I have to resize it now to bigger size because it's small let's adjust it like always test it so you know how you like it again stretch a little bit more so they're not too small so I'll put it down like this okay hide this first layer export and let's see how they look oh it's cute it's kind of small I like my like bigger lashes so we're gonna fill it onto the top and you can stretch it a little bit more to like fill this place up and stretch even more I had to resize it so I can like make the lashes longer again make sure it's touching the bottom don't have any gaps and let's see always test it always export it um okay it's still cute I like it but it needs more volume this sword eye warp and like pull it upwards to make it as long as possible that's why I prefer to do it on GIMP. Of course, it's kind of easier and it doesn't bend the whole like eyelashes. And boom, you have like voluptuous lashes. And oh, I freaking love it. They're really cute and a bit spiky and decent. Nothing too crazy. Like some, like sometimes somebody likes more fluffy ones. Sometimes like more decent. So with different lashes, you have like different styles. So now comes this in play that I already was talking about. So if you need more volume, you can use those. So now we have to adjust it and turn it around so it fits those lashes. But first, I'm gonna cut them so I have like easier access to turn them, rotate them, and now we're gonna rotate. It should be the same direction as those lashes originally. So, since I want length on the end, we're gonna move this up here. And uh, more at the end, I guess, or towards the middle, I don't know. Let's see, we're gonna tilt it a little bit more. Um, like this. And we're gonna, I think I'm gonna erase an original one. And, oh my god, I, I think I did too much undo. So, let me go back again. So it doesn't overlap with each other. So I'm just gonna delete an original one. And uh, let's export. And see how it looks. Oof. No, it's a bit too much. They're way too long because I guess they're going over the like map as you can see here. And it sucks. I wish I could go all over it, but it's okay. I'm gonna just drop it more down. It can be underneath the eye, it will not show. So hide export. Um, looks better but it can be still better than this so now we're gonna like I guess move it more down and t uh, like tilt it more and move it more upwards and okay so you can see how the first one looks again if you have some overlaps oh no that doesn't look good uh, I'm trying to delete it, but it gives me this rough edges, so, um, yeah, distort, I warp, and try to do some fixes, like make it more straight up, so it doesn't go in the edge, um, I don't know how I feel about this, <laughs> but we gotta test it, maybe it's gonna look good. And it already looks better. Okay. You can see like this fluffy lash on the end. And uh, now you're going to duplicate this one to see how it looks. Now it's going to be thicker. And now I'm going to rotate it to like fill up the space next to it. 
to make it more fluffier. Export. Mm. Ooh, I love this. Look how good it looks. That's why I always have end pieces. So, um, again, we're gonna go to the original one. Erase. So it doesn't overlap, so it looks better. And also this part again, I'm gonna be gone. And here, so it doesn't overlap. So you have like a straight, like, or slash curvy line, and not like chunks underneath it. And uh, already looks better. Look how good it looks. I'm freaking obsessed with those. So yeah, and uh, so I'm gonna merge them down and duplicate. They're even like fluffy and thicker. And uh, let's see how it's gonna look. Exports are duplicated the first ones and the end ones. And of course, I'm gonna upload it. Look how pretty it looks. So, this is going to be to the Planet 29 event, so you can buy them there. In case you're interested, so now that we're done with this, you can delete it. And here, I don't know, I'm gonna keep one in case I need it for later again. So now for now I'm gonna hide it. I have like this one, this one, and then we have this one front one. So yeah, so also this one. And these are different bottom lashes, but like I already chose my favorite bottom lash, so I don't need it. So okay. Also hide this one. And I think we have one more or two more lashes. And this one need a lot of fixing actually, so you are gonna move it downwards and maybe make it smaller would look better and uh, it's hard when you don't follow the line when you're drawing but let's like squeeze it together and you need to tweak it as much as you need to get like the results you want so yeah uh, distort I warp <clears throat> Um, now we gotta pull it down, you cannot have any gaps. When I made my first lashes I had a lot of gaps and I had to redo them, so. Better do it in once and now it's already better. I might lift it more down because there's still a lot of gaps. So you can have like underneath the line, of course that's not gonna show. Uh, stretch it. And then again move it, you cannot have any gaps, lower it. We rather have it lower and then stretch like the upper part this sort of eye warp and make sure you have a decent size so pull it in even more of course let's test it out now let's see and oh they're not bad but they're just really small i need like volume so we're gonna work with that so i'm gonna erase some parts because it's a bit too much and let's see, always check how it looks before. And I'm gonna delete the whole front part, I don't like it. So I'm gonna add those little add ons that I have. So now I'm gonna distort those. And as you can see, there's not space there at all. So we're gonna make a new layer, merge it down, and uh, we're gonna crop it, current layer only. So now you have more space on the side when you go on. Uh, filter head distort eye warp and now look how much space you have so make sure to always put a new layer on top of it to have more space and even crop it if needed okay oh okay and that looks better and now we have this other add-on so but I'm gonna use this little add-on I have now to tweak this one a lot so what I'm gonna do is gonna crop it so it's easy to work with uh, make it bigger and then adjust it it's a nice size a little bit smaller and uh, put it on top of the line so it's go like directly on it and now we're gonna duplicate them and just go follow the line duplicate and rotate and keep doing that and uh, like you don't have to do that you can draw them straight away but like I didn't like the slashes and I didn't want you to throw it away, so I used these extras that I made, so I'm going to try to work with it. So sometimes you might think, oh, throw it away, but like you can make like the best slashes of your life with it without knowing, so you got to try it out, but you do you, <laughs> I'll always do that. i always add on extras in case I needed to save lash. Sometimes I make the lash and then like I need more, so I just go back to my 
uh, procreate draw few more and then export it again and import it here and like add it in so yeah I mainly make six slashes sometimes I do more but kind of six is the one number I mostly do I don't know so we're gonna rotate this, rotate this one and see how we can integrate it it might look weird but it might good look good in like second life so um i don't know let's see i have a duplicated one somewhere duplicate this one of course you want it like nice and thick don't do one layer one layer is not gonna look that good as like two layers and uh, we're gonna erase this part completely i guess and add the add-on so rotate Maybe I'm gonna duplicate this one I don't know yet so move it here this looks good like for the middle one and oh look at this we're gonna use the other one in here so what I basically did I duplicated it deleted the back part and uh, I moved it here so it looks like this part next to each other what you can do it as well I guess we're gonna test it let's see how it looks oh okay that does not look bad at all I love, I love how spiky it looks and really pretty I feel the front part can be longer so we're gonna merge them all down so once they are merged I'm gonna go distort and make them way longer and uh, this is just to show how to adjust it but if you didn't watch my other videos you can check out how to add the lashes and make a hat also have hat videos so if I added the ad hard video on top of it, this video would be like one hour long. But I try to keep it short just to show you how to like test them and adjust them. And voila, this is how it looks. And oh my god, I love it. They look really, really cute. I love the front lashes. I love the back one. And they are freaking adorable. And of course, I'm going to upload them. And with this, I will have my six lashes. Upload, name them six okay and boom there we have them okay guys this is it for this video i hope it was helpful like i have videos how to make a hat and you can check it out how to make your own if you struggle and don't know how to make your eyelash hat let me know i can make a video but i have hat videos and also my big smash lips video also have like hat tutorials in it so yeah let me know what you think of these lashes and if you made your own eyelashes thanks to my video please dm me on instagram at ours.jt like our youtube like jt and yeah feel free to leave a like comment and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye